Enrique Diego Armando Maradona, dos hombres, se dejó los dos, maravilloso, está agrandado, está con todas las luces, se va Diego, otro más, sigue Maradona, busca el área, está el segundo, va a tirar, va a tirar, ¡Oh! Welcome to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. At the top you saw Diego Maradona's most famous goal. And today we will be using Sir Diego himself. This is the squad we will be rocking and the formation to try and highlight Maradona as much as we can. Whew. His stats look absolutely nutty. Absolutely nutty. Yes, his stamina isn't that good. Yes, his strength isn't that good. But his agility, his balance and his dribbling usually offset the things like the strength. Because, because his agility and balance are so good, then sometimes the strength doesn't necessarily matter because that offsets it because the players can't catch him. You will also be noticed that we are rocking an intensely high rated squad without any bronze players on the bench hmm we shall talk more about does bronze benching work in tomorrow's video but we thought we'd give it a try because we only won six out of the first ten <clears throat> the weekend's not that going that great the servers aren't amazing diego gets his goal on his day but um, we thought we'd just give it a try, just to see the differences in foot champs and what works and what doesn't. So like we said, we're rocking between an 88 and an 89 rated squad with no bronze benches. So just look out for the uh, ratings of squads. Diego! Oh, banger! <clears throat> so just look out for the ratings of the squads that I show you. And then we shall talk about it tomorrow after we've played a few more games. But on to this batch of 15. The last batch of 15 gameplay was absolutely shocking. This batch of 15, it was better. A little better. There were still games where there were spikes uh, and not the greatest. But you're going to get that from time to time. Diego with a two with his, what, three-star weak foot? Banger. Boom. Oh, what a player, man. What a player. Um, yeah, so there's always going to be uh, the odd game here and there. I'd say we probably had, out of this batch of 15, 10 decent gameplay games. Which, you know, that's not too bad. You can see a little bit of a, a frame rate jitter there. Maradona knocks it out to Sterling. One, two, with Sterling. He can't finish it, unfortunately. And it goes for a corner. So we will take... 10 good games. It's better than literally having 10 out of 10 zero games. Roycard! Header. 89th minute from the corner. Not bad. And we go to extra time. And it goes all the way to penalties. We shall speed these penalties up in the interest of boredom. Because let's be honest, who wants to sit there and watch slow penalties? Ugh. 3 1 up so far. Oh, Hernandez misses that one. He scores that one, which takes it to 3-2. And if we score this, we win. Diego, of course he scores it. And Diego, on his day, but scores a few nice goals. And we win the game from his penalty. Next up, with an 89-rated squad, we face an 82-rated squad. Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah, some definitely something to talk about in the next video. Should be interesting. Rijkaard. On the attack for absolutely no reason. He scores a great goal. Yeah. So, gameplay. Anyway, back to gameplay. So, the first 10, of the, as we know, was the, not the best. This one, we probably had 10 good ones out of the 15. But, again, it's a different game. It, it just feels like a different game. Again, it's absolutely outrageous. So, this gameplay is mostly Saturday. Um, 
but it just felt like a totally different game. If you was to pick up the game first time on Friday, you would go, oh, is this what the game's like? Oh, uh, okay. And then today, uh, well, on the Saturday, you'd pick it up and go, okay, it's all right, but there's some games where it's a bit slow. I don't understand why my players don't react. But it's just totally different gameplay feeling. And out of the interest of just seeing what it's like on a weekend, because I don't usually do that, Somewhere in between this uh, batch of 15 as well, I just played one Seasons game just to see what it was like and it was absolutely smooth as butter. Seasons, seasons you know from all of our videos, Seasons you absolutely struggle with connection on Seasons. But I played a game of Seasons during uh, Foot Champs and yeah, it was brilliant. Anyway. Partly through this video, we get the ratings refresh for La Liga. The only cards that have affected us are Coutinho has gone from an 86 to an 87. You know, nothing major, no pace increase or anything like that. That I think he might have got the odd passing stat or something, I didn't really know. And our red Pareo, we've also got an informed Pareo, don't forget. But our red Pareo has gone from an 86 to an 87 as well. So we should make decent money on the one we, we purchased uh, when he was an 86. And our Rodrigo Path to Glory card has gone up from a 78 to an 80. Again, no pace increase, nothing major. Let's just show you a couple of items that have sold. We sold this Team Vitality, Vitality Kit for 3-3. We sold the Hashtag Away for 5 Robin for 42750. We had Rob Rob the two Robins and the Ozil on the um, purchase list. Totally forgot about them. And then hashtag home for five. There's the other Robin. And then the Ozil we also sold as well for 41. So that's a good 120,000 into the club. The two hashtag hashtag kits for 10,000. And then the vitality for 3,000. So that's not bad just from doing a DKT. Next up, we've got this 85 rated team. Remember, we're rocking an 88 or an 89 rated team, depending on uh, the combination of players which we start, because we're just mixing it up slightly. Uh, into the ninth minute, we try to get a cut across. It doesn't work. Rijkaard manages to mop it up like a nice piece of bread. It falls to Del Piero, and we go 1-0 up. Yes, yeah, so back to the Seasons game. We played, we played the Seasons game during this and it was absolutely smooth. Absolutely fantastic and Seasons is never smooth. Seasons is, is also laggy gameplay. But during the weekend league, it was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So it's obviously, like we said last weekend, it's, it's just a strain issue on how many play, people are playing the certain modes. So why, 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 why can't we just extend the weekend league? If this weekend league was played across a whole week, like league players on certain games, you would, I, I guarantee you would never have any issues on any modes. But because EA are forcing everybody to do everything within a short amount of time, i.e. ratings refresh or player of the month or team of the year or team of the season plus weekend league, plus the people then that want to play draft, plus the people that want to play seasons, plus the people, apparently it's laggy on squad battles as well, which is an offline mode technically. Um... Uh, and every you're making everybody be play everything within three days yet if you don't offer any any reward in the dkt mistake from ferdinand there we should have got rid of that unlucky this was probably one of the best players i played in this batch of 15 while i just interrupt myself very good game unfortunately you will see we do take the l here but it was a very good game no complaints no complaints from the gameplay we lost because he was simply better than us end of story yeah so basically ea make us play everything within a three day period friday saturday sunday and then if the, if there's no rewards on a monday tuesday or wednesday there's literally nothing to do on ultimate team and if you're running a road to glory and there's nothing to do it's very hard to create content for it and especially now in march where road to glories are a little bit less um uh what you know meaningful because you know nobody's really starting the games now and nobody really wants to understand how to make a few five thousand coins here and there because come team of the season everybody will just be plowing money in anyway if they're still playing the game so it's, it's very hard to create content but imagine if you had something there you could compete competitively across the whole week as in week league That'd be absolutely fantastic. And then the people that want to play seasons can still play seasons. The people that want to play draft can still play draft. 
there's less strain on the servers at weekends. Of course, there's going to be more people playing on the weekend because people go to work and stuff, but it does, you're not forcing people to be able to, you know, have to play 40 games within such a short, concentrated period of time. But I know what they're going to do because if you look at what Madden's done, I, I don't think they're going to do a weak league. I think they've just got this idea where they want everybody to dominate and play on a weekend. Which is okay, but this year it's backfired slightly. So if a good game comes out, imagine if something, you know, if Fortnite did, did something where for a whole weekend you could only do a certain thing, whatever that may be. Literally everybody, kind of like a double XP when Call of Duty did double XP or Battlefield do double XP where they kind of force you to want to play all of that weekend. If Fortnite did something like that, that would absolutely destroy EA. And unfortunately, that's what EA have tried to do. They've tried to monopolise the market and make you only play FIFA on the weekend. And it worked on 18. I'm sorry, it worked on 17. But FIFA 18, people have just gone, nope, I'm not playing the weekend league anymore. Sorry. And it's totally backfired. And if you don't play the weekend league, what is there to do on Ultimate Team? Great goal from Maradona, absolutely beautiful. His balance and agility is stunning, by the way. But what, what is there to do? If you, if you know, you may have the odd kit to win on a DKT. Um, seasons is usually laggy, and even if you win Division One, your reward is fifteen thousand coins and a kit. But you win the kit once, you you know, and then you discard the kit. You can't even sell the kit. So there's absolutely no, no point. If once you've won Division 1 once, there's no point playing Division 1 again. That's why we don't really play Seasons anymore unless we're, you know, stuck to it. Squad battles just got completely and utterly tedious. The weekly and daily objectives are repetitive and you don't really get much reward for them. So they just, you know, they need to look at it, man. They, they definitely need to look at it. Anyway, back to... Back to the game. Yes, Maradona was absolutely stunning, but we just could, didn't stop Hernandez from having just goal after goal after goal. But let me tell you, if you haven't done this loan card for Maradona yet, do it, man. Do it. He's much better than his stamina and um, strength suggests. Um, and that is because of his balance and his agility, like I said, with the strength. But also his weak foot is, isn't as bad as what you think it would be. So don't get put off. Is he worth 2.7, 2.8 million coins? That's hard to tell in a batch of, what, 15-ish games. That's very hard to tell. Uh, if you're paying nearly 3 million coins for a player, you'd literally want him to defend, pass, shoot, paint the stadium, cut the grass, cut the oranges. You'd want him to do literally everything. So 3 million coins for an untradeable player is quite a lot. It's very, it's quite a lot. Hernandez, 2-1. Not bad at all. But his agility is great. His balance is great. Uh, we ha we actually haven't used Mertens this year. But I should imagine that Mertens would be very, very similar. I I, I, sh I imagine you know, I should imagine that Mertens is a very similar card. So that could be a cheaper option. And of course a tradable option as well. So 2-2 two -two in this game. Hernandez with a nice little stop and turn. Passes it out to Maradona. Maradona... Gets a shot, but it rebounds off Luis. But it goes in. 3-2. Not bad. Maradona with another goal. Here and there. Hernandez. On the break. 4-2. Good goal. Good finish. Yeah. Like it. 82nd minute. Right card. Into Conte. Conte. To Maradona. Maradona. Swivel. Maradona, Maradona, look at the agility and balance. He sent that defender all the way to the shop. 5-2. Yeah, if you're a skiller, you have to get Maradona. So, that's our 15. We finish on 17 wins now for the week. Not bad, so we got an 11 batch in that game. Um, we played a couple of players that were very, very good. And then the, the other two losses were down to just button delay and slowness. But, overall... The gameplay for this batch of 15 wasn't too bad. You can see towards the end we changed the formation and we was rocking an 89 rated squad. So we will talk about that in the next episode. Whether do we believe bronze benching works. But for today, Maradona. He's played 13. He got injured for a couple. So in these 13 games, he scored 16 goals and 4 assists. That's a stunning return in foot champions against some great players with some really good teams 
Um, so I'm quite happy with that. And obviously he's got no kind of chem style on him. I think he would put probably a hawk or something on him just to boost up his physical. Um, so that's a standard card with, uh, with, uh, with just your plus ones on your basic uh, chem style. So that's not bad at all, man. That's not bad at all. We did try and play a little bit through him. So he was getting tired on a few games. Um, we tried a few, like, uh, you know I'm not the overly most skilly player anyway because I don't necessarily think it, it works so much on FIFA 18. FIFA 17, it works a hell of a lot better. But on FIFA 18, you don't really need to pull off a skill so much. It's the odd drag back or heel to heel kick flip will do as much as a rainbow flick or whatever. So you won't see many like amazing goals, but even just the way he turns from left to right, his agility, his turning circle is absolutely fantastic. So if you haven't done this loan card, go and get it. He may just save your weekend league if you're still playing it. I don't think he's available on Fortnite, unfortunately, but you never know. Anyway. That is it for today's video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you could drop, hit that thumbs up, that would be absolutely appreciated. Would love more thumbs ups on the video. Would love more comments on the videos. Some more interaction, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you've stumbled across me and you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Greatly appreciated. However, more importantly than that, and I genuinely mean it, Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in a bit. Diego!